We are going to move on, and we are going to talk about the, everyone's favorite story this week. I feel like this. Do you feel like this is one that's going to like kind of? Um, it's burned bright for a week, and then it will disappear into I nothingness. Hope so. Mary, do you want do you want to lead us through a recap of all the drama involving my favorite person in the whole world, Olivia Wilde's movie? Don't worry, darling. Sure. Oh, no. So this was ramping up for a while, but it peaked at the Venice Film Festival when the cast of Don't Worry Darling was extremely awkward. It was giving sussy vibes. Um. By the way, I think there's an age gap. Yeah, there's, there's a capped age on, like, I don't think I'm actually allowed to say that. You can't that. say I'm not sussy. Allowed to say I think that I would actually Only end I up, can say sussy. I might actually end up on a watch list yeah, if I said you that. you should, so. for sure. So don't say that. The rumor was that Florence Pugh was uncomfortable working with Shia LaBeouf, who was originally planned to play her husband in the film. Mm. And... Olivia Wilde later claimed that she fired Shia LaBeouf from the film, but Shia exposed her with a leaked video where she was begging for him to stay on the project and work it out so with who she called Miss Flo, oh <laughs> condescendingly calling Florence Pugh Miss Flo. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. I also he, want to point out, just before we go on, that there's a huge age gap in hiring... Oh, no. H h was, was, um, Shia was Shia LaBeouf, LaBeouf playing... Harry Styles character? Yeah, That's the same character. That's a huge age gap so in those characters. It's weird. She replaced herself as the same character with Florence Pugh. Who's younger? Because she wanted to portray a younger couple. Okay, that actually makes sense. Then but Shia was not fitting the image of the younger couple, so she still cast it. She wanted him <laughs> as the husband anyways. So anyway, Shia quit... Um, and then she replaced that character with her boyfriend, Harry okay. Styles, okay. who is 10 years her junior and has zero acting <sighs> experience. And apparently no ability to describe what acting is when doing panels. Yeah, so oh I think he just like wishes that he was a himbo. He's but succeeding. He's not attractive enough. He's just unintelligent. Okay, so he's got one of the one of the <laughs> aspects, but not all of them. Um, so there was rumored beef between Olivia Wilde and Florence Pugh, and Florence Pugh was not pictured with either Harry Styles alone at that premiere or with Olivia Wilde alone at that premiere. My favorite part of of like looking through all the photos because I have to find like thumbnails is like play, it's like whack a mole <laughs> trying to figure like here's Harry Styles but not Olivia yeah. Wilde. Here's yeah. Olivia Wilde but not Florence Pugh. Here's Florence Pugh. Yes, but not so like and it's for like PR weird, reasons, Olivia. Wilde Wilde and Harry Styles couldn't be pictured alone together because they're dating. <laughs> uh, so, so it's actually really funny to like look at it and like that's all very calculated. Like she walks and stands by this person, yes. and takes a picture with this person. So it's if you ever so wanna, awkward if to you, watch. If you ever want to wonder just how manufactured that world is, uh, just pay attention to who is placed where. Uh, in a picture line and, and you will understand that literally all that stuff is decided ahead of time. I'm going to start paying attention to that now. Yep. That's very interesting. Yep. Yeah. So then at the premiere, they got a three minute long standing ovation where. Which is nothing firstly, compared to the neck to the rest of the movies at Venice Film Festival. Harry Styles. <laughs> uh, well, yes, of course, because it, it we just found out Don't Worry Darling got bad critical reception no. despite it being preachy uh and, and teasing annoying. like this <laughs> commentary on Even gender roles like, and indie wire was like whatever. it's a bad feminist movie if like i'm like if you can't even convince indie wire to like your feminist movie you've got problems it, it was friend. marketed with a female orgasm awareness press tour i'm sorry what can yes. i stop can we no not have this conversation what is wrong this with literally these people happened. i hate these people <laughs> well, so much it's because we are uh the the you don't have to just crush the male gaze you have to crush anything that men like we are we an unserious people i'm sorry yes. un i'm unable to take this seriously at all well that's the whole point yeah. of this segment so we have this uh where it says <laughs> like, florence yeah, <laughs> florence pew's glam team wore miss flow shirts while prepping for venice red carpet petty so and i love it. i love the i can i can get behind the pettiness i'm <laughs> not that way especially if you're not getting photographed then yeah you know I mean, it'd be cooler if florence Pugh wore the miss flow shirt but i, I don't <laughs> think great, uh, yeah so but no. still they're they're publicly denying any having any beef and it's like you could just say that you like had disagreements you mm -hmm. don't need to completely deny it everyone can see it uh, so yeah, so and then her stylist posted the picture of her in the in her Valentino gown, captioned 
Miss Flo. I love they it. They were obsessed with it. Yeah, it's great. It's, and it became a joke to them. I don't mean to make this gendered, but this feels like when we talk about women love gossip, women love shunning, and they love uh, their form of cultural enforcement is through shunning and gossip. In men, it's usually through physical altercation, right? Like women uh, excise friends from their friend group by talking about them behind their back. This feels like the product of Olivia Wilde saying that she's running this whole set very differently because she's a woman and she knows how to fix the problems that were created by 1950s Hollywood. And all it's proving is that neither one really works. This is just creates its own set of problems. Yeah. It's very, very feminine in the in all of these problems that keep occurring. That's a really interesting observation. I feel like a lot of the problems we've seen in society thus far have been the male problems. Mm -hmm. And I feel like what we're looking at right now, all this weird stuff we can't fully characterize or even verbalize sometimes, is the feminine influence. Like, this is women causing problems. Like, well, I what I brought up uh, when we were first talking about this is that... Olivia Wilde casted someone else to do intimate and sexually graphic scenes with a man that she was currently dating, which she was directing. She was directing those scenes. And then she, with that was with an actress who she already had a tense relationship with. That's so weird. What do you expect to happen other than drama and uh, some kind of tense energy this, on set? Dude, this feels like when rappers have beef and you're like, you don't actually have beef do you this is solely for pr there's nothing else here i don't That's know really if, I, like I don't know me. if i buy that this is all for pr to be fair i don't think florence's like response to it is for pr i That's feel like she's just being kind of used she is uh, there was a great meme earlier it says florence pew uh quiet quitting queen <laughs> yeah she's um, soft launching her quit yeah she, she's like she so she's skipping the the new the don't worry darling premiere in new york city to be fair if i was a celebrity and i had to watch my own movie like a bunch of times well a bunch of that would suck a, a bunch of like completely vapid and self-interested people had to pretend to want to watch my movie with me well i pretend to want to watch my movie with you who doesn't want to watch it either that sounds like actual torture to how me. many times yeah, do you think she's great. watched it already Way too many. Like, <laughs> I, I wouldn't want to go either. And it's, I think, uh, maybe a valid excuse this time. The first time when she wasn't at their press conference, it was about filming for Dune 2. Now this is her excuse for not being at the New York premiere. There was a, there was a great I meme. I don't know. It's dubious. Of the cover know. of Dune, and it's all Joey Tribbiani. It says, how you Dune? <laughs> how you Dune? <laughs> and it's, it's just a bunch of, it's all the characters, but with his head. That's great. Uh, I also want to point out that this, you know who, you know who might be thinking 4D chess is uh, Seth Rowe, or no, was it, who was the one who's like, I'm not going to promote my movies anymore because I have mental health. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, oh, Tom, um, oh, there was, there may have been more than one just remembering tom, tom holland tom holland it wasn't tom yeah. holland he, did, he was getting off social media i feel like it was seth rogan was it let's look at um it. who's like i i don't want to promote my movies because he had a documentary coming out about mental health struggles mm -hmm. and, and then like he's, he's like i'm not mentally well enough to promote it he's like this I've is been, the best promotion he's like it. i've been promoting my movies for 20 years and i have like really bad social anxiety and i yeah. don't like, what is it is it seth rogan uh, no it's not it doesn't look like oh he dreads promote he did dreads promoting movies i don't know that might be him yep. yeah seth rogan uh That's so 2019 i don't know whatever so yeah so he uh <laughs> he had a thing somebody can if in the chat if i'm wrong let us know but i think i'm right there but basically said like i, I can't stand doing the promotion mental health is a concern so he found a way out of it jonah hill J oh, that's who it was similar. there you go Thank same thing yeah, yeah. So same difference yeah yeah Seth Seth Rogen, Rogen, Jonah Hill. Hill. Yeah. Like, i like jonah hill more uh great. i mean they're all pretentious so. i mean yes but Se jonah hill seth rogan is like, more unhinged that's yeah. true and jo jonah hill has actually like lost weight and he's done things like he feels actual pressure yeah so he he said that uh he, he felt that he just couldn't promote couldn't his it. movies anymore maybe it's like he's like i actually just don't want to sit through another two I hours mean, with a bunch of people him? who just want to use <laughs> me for my connections and and florence pugh's like look you know, I, I got a movie to film. <laughs> yeah, yeah, honestly. So 
Let's talk about Harry Styles addressing Spitgate. I love how Gate is everything. Like, even though that has nothing to do with Watergate, because Watergate was the I, name of the hotel, right? To be like, fair, I haven't seen anyone refer to this as Spitgate. I just I think have, it's funny. Oh, yeah, the articles say Spitgate. <laughs> really? Oh, That's no. That's hilarious. Oh. Um, he was playing a show at Madison Square Garden the other day, and he said, it's wonderful to be back in New York. I just popped very quickly to Venice to spit on Chris Pine, but fret not, we're back. What? So he thinks it's just a big joke, but like if you look at the video, it's damning. It, it, I don't know if you can deny it at that point. What all of it screams to me is like, and I don't mean to be rude to Olivia Wilde, it's like somebody who like they don't respect her. Like so, they're not. Can't imagine gonna, why not. Like, like, so they're not behaving themselves not, because of be, that. There wasn't she doesn't a, have the same authority that maybe another director would have. She's yeah. like the parent who's if, failing. Like I feel like if I'm not even using male director, I would say if Patty Jenkins had had uh, had directed this movie, I think because she's made more successful films and she uh, she kind of. Um, embodies a more a serious tone to her work and is actually seen as like an artist and not somebody who's just flying by uh, just getting by that the actors would take it more seriously because they want to make her proud or, or want to uh, being a part of her film meant more I, I feel like people our age don't understand this kind of gravitas that Yes, there's a lot of boomer hate out there, and I completely understand it, but they had a gravitas, and yep. they had like this respectability about mm. them where when they were in charge, you understood. You kind of knew what was expected of you. When millennials are in charge, it's um, a nonsense show. Well, we, we talk a lot about, she's like, we talked a lot about making it fair, and everybody's ideas get heard, which is just utopian bullshit that doesn't yeah. actually work in in, this, in these industries. In the creative industry, at the finance, with something with that much money online it's it has to be a clear vision and yeah, there is and she, such a thing as too many cooks in the kitchen she may learn the hard way that you can't be a director like that you cannot direct by committee because it doesn't actually lend itself to good art right you mm -hmm. can't use that perfect equity you've been coming up with art requires exactly. one thinker to then like force other people to do what they one, say one maybe two right and maybe exactly. then very, you very won't few. have a 45 percent on rotten tomatoes dude it's meritocracy and they're rejecting it and this is the result i don't know what they this, that's not even fans that's the crew the critics dude, gave it a 45 percent i can't wait to see maybe this will end up like maybe this will end it. up being like a morbius <laughs> thing where the people will like pretend to so like it for the good. for the memes like <laughs> the, i'm <g> <laughs> the reps uh for chris pine i feel have the vibe of like the lady duff protest too much mm. saying that it's a ridiculous oh, story a, ridiculous. a complete fabrication uh there is nothing but respect between these two men and <laughs> any suggestion otherwise I, is a blatant attempt to create drama that simply does not exist i refuse I, I might believe that if the other guy wasn't harry styles i refuse to believe that there's nothing but respect watch, for harry styles watch the press yeah, conference no. where chris pine is struggling not to laugh at harry styles yeah. The entire time. I, I thought, I looked, to me, it looked more like secondhand cringe and embarrassment like for him. Like secondhand embarrassment yep. or just laughing at his expense. I can understand, like, I actually, in a way, I sympathize with Harry Styles on that because there are a lot of times here where there's things, like, that I feel I articulate well through written word that because of mm. the, the number of things you're doing during the show, I feel like d I don't articulate well. So I definitely understand the idea that you believe something in your head, you believe it to be true, you wish... To God, you could convey <laughs> it to everyone, but you can't but always do that. His he's is just a no particularly newbie to doing interviews, and he knew exactly what he was going to get asked yeah. at this press conference. It's going to be like, so acting's new for you. What the, what's that like? It's. I mean, it, like, it, it's new. It, that's Woo. what he was going to get asked. <laughs> exactly. I just and don't. And uh, he had no intelligent thing to say about it. It's also possible that he could just been stoned. <laughs> Maybe. Always possible. Have I'm not. Or that's wears? just the vibe he wants to, yeah. to give off now that he wears bell bottoms at I the like, airport. I like that better. I like the idea that he actually like goes backstage and talks really articulate and eloquent and he's like, oh, I can't believe I Gotta have to Gotta put on my stoned persona. And, yeah. yeah <laughs> like, he's like, oh, these plebs, these uh, plebeians. I gotta dumb myself down for them. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, the, the, I also wanted to point out there was uh, the articles. I didn't pull up a bunch of them, but I hate the um, the tone of the articles. They're like, no, of course Harry Styles didn't spit on Chris Pine. They literally want to make you feel like you you 
what we like saw, you're crazy yes, it's like that gaslighting you for like not saying it to, for looking at the video and saying exactly what you saw in the video is true and Don't i'm not saying that that's eyes. what happened but i'm saying there's more than enough evidence that the way that chris pine reacted would at least indicate that it could have happened so do not gaslight me as if i'm nuts right. for at least questioning right. whether it happened or not right you slime bag <laughs> yeah, that's I, fair. I, I love that. I, I love how angry it made you. Fair characterization. It's those super, super yeah. editorialized snark. In it's the, kind of the same thing, antagonizing the fan base once again. Yep. Like, or it, antagonizing anyone who's not part of that circle. In fact, I might even change my thumbnail. Like, I the thumbnail that I have made for this segment for tomorrow says the the drama behind "Don't worry, darling" is the gift that keeps on giving. Even that's a little bit. Uh, Not charitable enough to use slime bags, as you said? Yes. <laughs> I like to keep the thumbnail as neutral as possible for the sake of, uh, you know. But I like to editorialize. I, she, she's like, a, a, like, you have a little devil on your shoulder. Uh, I just don't have the angel on the other side who's there. Just like, like, oh, God, like, like, no, say it. that she exposed him. Change the color for exposed. No. She, it's not, yeah. It's Drama. Like, no, Drama. No. Yeah. So, it does get the clicks. Just Let's uh, <laughs> does, does this movie interest you? No, and I I love thinking about the fact like I just rejoice knowing that I'm never going to watch Don't Worry Darling. I'm not even going to think about it ever again. It's it this is why it makes everything makes me feel like it's just PR. Like the drama is what gets them ahead. The mm -hmm. drama is what generates the clicks. Like you're correct. Like you can make these things red and bold and draw attention to them. That gets attention. Attention is mm. money. That's the only thing that matters. And I I don't think that's good. Like that that genuinely makes me feel like our whole culture is on sinking sand, but at the same time I understand why they're doing it this way, because all attention is good attention. They they like I, I'm picturing like the 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 studio executives watching the movie, like him and Olivia Wilde are sitting there in the big, you know, all these studios have like their own like movie theaters in there and they, they get done watching the lights turn back on and he goes, so what do you think about promoting it with drama? Like, yeah, <laughs> I mean, as yep. true as what you said is Lydia, I s also genuinely believe that these people are antisocial individuals who can't work together that too often. Yeah. We've been told a little bit too much of the your special nonsense. Well, ego. I mean, I it's mean, not even just that, like, feeling like you want to be put on a pedestal. I think people are um, desperate to feel special today because they are uh, deracinated, isolated from the people who should make you feel special in your life, like your family. Your family. Yep, we've lost our culture, our community. It's yep. not a That's problem that people want to feel special. That's you know, a natural like human everyone thing. wants to feel special, but you're looking for it in the wrong places and celebrities are the best example of that. Yeah. All those articles that came out after Roe v. Wade, it's like if you get if you if you find yourself pregnant, you need to build yourself a stable system of people that can help you raise the yes. child. Yes. And I was like like it's a, your job. Like there's <laughs> a name for that. Yeah, it's like, like yeah. a family, it's a church, <laughs> it's an actual community. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.